Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Well, the countdown is almost over. Only a few more days until Christmas. Are you excited? Well, not long to go. So up first today, we have our lovely story, read by Julia. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Today's story is the Hoity Toity Angel. There was once a very beautiful angel. Her hair gleamed, her wings sparkled, and her dress was whiter than white. She was the most elegant angel that you could ever wish to see, but she was also very, very proud. She really thought that she was the best. Now one day God sent another angel, Gabriel, to a little town called Nazareth to give a young girl called Mary a most important message. There's Gabriel and there's Mary. The angel Gabriel appeared in front of Mary and said, you are going to have a very special baby and you must call him Jesus. Mary was absolutely amazed to hear this news. All the other angels were very excited by this news too, but not the hoity-toity angel. She thought Mary looked far too ordinary she wasn't even a princess. So she glared at the other angels and began to create a terrible fuss. I am the greatest, she proudly proclaimed. Only the very best is good enough for me. I can't possibly be seen with that ordinary looking young girl. and I won't ever sing to her. At this, the stars twinkled nervously and the other angels shook their heads at her. Don't be so hoity-toity, they exclaimed. Looks don't matter one little bit. It's what you're like inside that counts. The hoity-toity angel frowned. She knew that if she didn't join in, she wouldn't be allowed to sing to the new baby king when he was born. And she badly wanted to do that. So she stamped her foot crossly. Bother, she said, and she pulled a terrible face but she snoochly agreed to sing. One cold night, some shepherds were out on the hillside looking after their sheep. Suddenly, a fantastic angel appeared in front of them. The shepherds were absolutely terrified. They had never seen an angel before. So there's the angel, and there we've got the shepherds and their sheep. But the angel told them not to worry. Tonight, a very special baby has been born in Bethlehem. The angel said, you must go and visit him. The shepherds were very excited by this news. Can you see how excited they look? The baby king had been born. But the hoity-toity angel looked at the shepherds with alarm. They looked so scruffy, she glared at the other angels and began to create a terrible fuss. I am the greatest, she proudly proclaimed. Only the very best is good enough for me. I can't possibly be seen with these scruffy shepherds and I won't sing to them either. At this, the stars twinkled nervously and the other angels shook their heads at her. Don't be so hoity-toity, they exclaimed. Looks don't matter one little bit. It's what you're like inside that counts. The hoity-toity angel frowned. She knew that if she didn't join in, she wouldn't be allowed to sing to the new baby king. And she badly wanted to do that. So she stamped her foot crossly. Bother, she said, and she pulled a terrible face. But she snootily agreed to sing. In the east, there were three wise men. Had spent lots of time learning about the stars. One night, a huge sparkly star appeared in the sky. That star is a sign that a very special baby has been born, they said. We must follow it. And off they went. After a long time, the three wise men arrived at King Herod's palace in Jerusalem. They politely asked him where they would find the special baby. In Bethlehem, King Herod replied. Then he added sneakily, I'd like to visit too. There's the king. But Herod actually didn't want to see the baby at all. He just wanted to get rid of him. Oh dear, I wonder what's going to happen. 
The hoity-toity angel looked at the three wise men with approval. They looked so handsome, she watched as they visited King Herod in his palace. A palace, she shrieked, with a proper king inside, and she began to make a terrible fuss. I am the greatest, she proudly proclaimed. Only the very best is good enough for me. Do let me sing to those wonderful three wise men and that very rich king in his palace. It's just my sort of place, and they're quite the sort of people I need to be seen with. At this, the stars twinkled nervously, and the other angels shook their heads. Don't be so hoity-toity, they exclaimed. Looks don't matter one little bit. It's what you're like inside that counts. Then they added quite seriously, You can't possibly sing there. That is not where we are supposed to sing at all. The hoity-toity angel frowned and she stamped her foot crossly. Bother, she said, and she pulled a terrible face. But she didn't sing one note. Meanwhile, in Bethlehem, a very special baby had indeed been born and his name was Baby Jesus. There he is. Mary and Joseph wrapped little baby in some soft cloth to keep him warm and placed him in the manger filled with straw. So there's his mummy and daddy, that's Mary, and there's Joseph and he's nice and cosy in the straw. The shepherds arrived at the stable with their sheep and their little lambs. They went inside and they knelt down quietly. They gave the baby their woolly lambs as a gift. So there's the shepherds and there's the lambs. That's nice that they've given the lambs as a present. The three wise men followed the spectacular star all the way to the stable in Bethlehem. They knelt down on the dusty floor and gave baby Jesus their precious gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And there they are, there's the three kings giving the gifts. The angels appeared at the stable too. So there's the angels. This is where the baby king has been born, they exclaimed. We're so pleased to be here. But where is the baby king? asked the hoity-toity angel proudly. This old place just can't be right. And that surely can't be him lying in the manger with straw poking out all around him. The hoity-toity angel glared at the other angels and she began to create a terrible fuss. I am the greatest, she proudly proclaimed. Only the very best is good enough for me. I can't possibly be seen singing to a baby king lying in a manger in this old broken down stable. I just can't. And she pulled a terrible face. The other angels were horrified. They shook their heads at the hoity-toity angel. This baby is the best, the very, very best, they said, and they swiftly pushed her into the stable. The hoity-toity angel tripped over onto the dirty stable floor. Ah, she said with disgust. She picked herself up and what a sight she was. Her wings were crooked, her hair was a mess, her face was filthy and her dress was torn. She looked absolutely dreadful. The hoity-toity angel looked across nervously at the baby king. Whatever was he going to think of her now? Then all at once, as she gazed at the tiny baby, the hoity-toity angel saw how proud she had always been and how badly she had behaved, and she felt so very sorry. Baby Jesus looked at the sorry, scruffy angel, and he smiled at her with joy. So there's the baby smiling, and there's the angel looking very scruffy now. And instantly, the hoity-toity angel glowed with happiness. Now I understand, she exclaimed, Looks don't matter one little bit, do they? It's what you're like inside that counts. And now that I've met the baby king, I feel like a brand new angel inside. The other angels cheered with delight. The hoity-toity angel, angel smiled a happy smile and she was never hoity-toity again. And that was a lovely story that baby Jesus has come to us at Christmas time. Lovely, thank you, Julia. Up next, we have a lovely Christmas song where you can do the actions. So, up on your feet, let's go!
brilliant. And we've got a very special guest today doing our prayers. Andrew, over to you. Dear God, I pray that this Christmas is celebrated with a heart filled with peace and love. Please take away all the bad fears and emotions in people and show them what Christmas is all about. I also pray for the people who are having a hard time this Christmas. Please hug them and let them feel your peace and love. Amen. Merry Christmas everybody. I love you. Thank you, Andrew, for that lovely prayer. Well, that's about it from the Sunday celebration today. But there is so much going on throughout this week. We've got the online Chris Dingle service. Also, in a few hours, we have our very own youth special drama. So watch this space in just a few hours. There will be a video posted from our young people of St Luke's. And, yep, yeah, there's more. Our holiday club team, so everyone that's been doing these uh, Sunday celebrations throughout the month, have put together a special video for you, a special Christmas Zoom call video, which you should enjoy, I hope. <laughs> it's very funny. And it's going to be actually posted on Christmas Day. So watch out, enjoy, and have a lovely Christmas from us at the Saturday Celebration Team. God bless.